Hey guys, um, this is my first video log that I've done. Um, I'll do a little bit of an introduction. My name's Curtis Layton. I live in New South Wales, Australia, and in less than two weeks, I'm having a gastric sleeve through a, um, a laparoscopic surgery. Um, 19, it's born in 1989, and um, I'm making this video log so um, that people who are interested in the same sort of surgery um, there isn't much information from people who have had surgery a lot of them just have the surgery and they forget that there are other people who actually want to learn more about it other than what are said on websites stuff like that they want a personal opinion and um, and furthermore they're the Australian surgery is a lot different than the other surgeries in other countries. Um, for instance, the size um, that they reduce the stomach to and things like that. So um, it's a lot. It's a different progress and different plans that we have to be on to make sure that everything goes properly. So I like to keep it nice and short and simple. And um, basically, if you haven't already seen, there should be a bar on the screen somewhere that says said my weight and my BMI. Um, if you missed it, my weight is 137.4, 137.4 kilograms. Um, and um, I just want to introduce to you the very low calorie diet that I'm on. I started this yesterday because from yesterday my surgery is two weeks. So it's now less than two weeks till my operation. So um, basically I'm using OptiFast. OptiFast is a meal replacement, if you haven't already heard of it. It's a, it comes in a, a powder form in a packet and you, uh, you can add it to um, this water, shake it up and drink it and then that's your meal. So that's what I've been using. I have one here that I haven't finished yet. Just to show you what it sort of looks like. It's, uh, it's really dark and it's Tastes okay. Um, it's not. It's not like pure chocolate, but it's meal replacement. So it's actually pretty good for for what it is. Um, furthermore, we have to drink uh, 1.5 to 2 liters a day. Basically, is to flush out our system, um, get everything small and tight, so that when they go in through, um, and when they go into your your body through the laparoscopic method. Um, they, they don't have a, a lot of um, internal organs to shift around. The bigger the organs, the more they have to shift around, the higher the danger. So the plan is to make it to make everything as small and tight as possible. So when they operate, they don't hurt you. you they get the thing done, and then you're safe. So um, a lot of money and time is riding on me sticking to the diet. So if I don't stick to the diet and something you know if something doesn't go down properly or nothing you know something's still enlarged or something like that, um, the operation will be aborted. So I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so we have um, the Optifast plan, the actual because Optifast is its own diet, um, the the plan is that you can have basically three milkshakes a day or you can have four soups a day. Um, milkshakes come in chocolate, vanilla and I think perhaps maybe a few other ones. Soup comes in chicken and I think um, some sort of vegetable and um, there's also a, a bar that you can have. It's, um, it's basically like a milkshake but dried out. It's actually, it's actually quite nice. Um, it's very chocolatey and I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of, you can really taste the health in it if you know what I mean. It's, it's got that. If you're, if you're eating a health bar, it's kind of like that, but you add it with a little bit of chocolate. That's what it sort of tastes like. Um, so yeah, we have to have a drink, drink 1.5, two liters a day. That's not including what we drink from our milkshakes. Luckily, the milkshakes make you very thirsty after you drink them. It's sort of um. It sort of it dries out and it really makes your mouth sort of very dry and sort of like cotton mouth almost. Um, so 
the um, the actual OptiPass plan is that you can have three milkshakes or two soup or, or four soups a day, or you can actually have two soups or bars. Bars come in chocolate and I think perhaps berry, and also including um, the two bar or soup, you can have two milkshakes. Um, the surgeon has also given us a little bit more. Uh, we're also allowed to have low calorie jelly, which is a uh, that's really important. We have those in the fridge. Um, strained broth, low starch vegetables or salads, which is um, two cups a day, cooked without oil or salt or fat. Um, and the vegetables that you can have um, is uh, beans, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, cucumber, garlic, lettuce, watercress, mushrooms, spinach, squash, tomato, and zucchini. So you can have those as well as your milkshakes. And um, on top of all of that, you can have black tea or coffee. Now, I'm not quite sure what's the deal with sugar. I tried a cup of tea black without any sugar last night, and I don't think I'll drink it again if it if you can't have any sugar in it, because that's really, it's really not that great. At least the brand I tasted. Um, I put a packet of equal sugar in there last night. One packet of equal sugar, if you haven't heard of it, is basically two teaspoons of sugar. And um, it's something like 15 kilojoules as opposed to 140 for two teaspoons of sugar. So the equal is a lot less kilojoules, but it hasn't been mentioned on the plan, so I don't think I'll be doing that again unless I contact the, um, the surgeon's receptionist and ask her. Um, and that's that's basically it. We're on this plan for um, two weeks. From what I've seen on the on the list, either the last day or the day of surgery, um, I fast, no food. And um, if you want to know more about my surgeon or which hospital I'll be in, if you want to know a little bit more, if you're if you're booked into the same surgeon or you want to know a bit what the hospital's like, you can um, click on my name and then uh, you can contact me in there or you can leave a comment here and I'll get back to you. Um, so until my next uh, video, I'll be making videos if there's any change. Um, change in weight, change in diet, uh, when I have my surgery, after surgery, you know, milestones, things like that. Um, it's possible that um, today I might be switching from OptiFast to another a meal replacement. Um, the surgeon gives you a large list, which I don't have with me here, of, um, of different brands that have meal replacements and um, OptiFast is just one of them. And uh, so you can, you can switch between the different ones. So my sister, my, um, my father's sister, my auntie, is um, also having a similar surgery and she's on this a different drink and apparently it tastes a lot better and it's um, it, it has a better um, appetite suppressant so we'll um, we'll try that out and uh, and I'll uh, make a new video if I do switch and um, yeah, thanks for watching bye